Hey, it's the Funk Student here, and today I want to showcase a little program I created which is a simple app that gets today's weather based on a city input. And it has been built using JavaFX and Scene Builder, and I'm using an API, which more specifically is MetaWeather, which has an API where we are able to get some weather information very quickly and easily based on the city we want. So, for example, I can do London, hit my button button, and then get the minimum temperature, the current temperature, and the maximum temperature. I could do like Paris. And we get some temperatures. So let's have a look at how it works. So as mentioned, it's set up with JavaFX. So we just have a simple primary controller where we are making two calls to our API because to get first, we need to get like a OID, which is kind of like the specific ID of the city, of the position of the city. And then based on their position of the city, we can get the weather at that position. So first we make technically two calls. We first get the city position, and then we get the weather at the position. And we're using weather weather API, first calling from the city, city information, getting the position of the city, and then using the position of city, using API location to get the weather at that location. And we then simply use our API. I talked more about how we do JavaFX APIs in the last video. They're building up here somewhere. But just the quickly how it works. Inside my controller, whenever I want to get weather data, I everything when working with APIs, at least mostly we're using JSON objects that I'm using as well. So we'd like to have a JSON object containing today's weather. And then from today's weather JSON object, we can get, for example, minimum temperature, Current temperature, max temperature, and a lot of old stuff if we want, if we want it. But I think called a get today's weather information, which is a method I simply created that first, as mentioned, we need to get the buoy ID. And this ID is gotten here. So we are technically first getting today's weather and then giving it the input of get buoy ID, where the buoy ID takes the first URL to use to get the city information puts it inside my API connector to a city, which is just an API connector, which is a simple class I created that takes in the input to the constructor of the URL string, then sets up the URL. We try make an HTTP request, a get request, check if we can get a connection, if a connection is successful. We then Set up a string builder and a scanner and taking in the input of our URL, so our API position using HTTP, opening a, and then opens a stream, then gets the information from our URL using a while loop, goes through all the elements one at a time, gets them, put them inside our string builder, calls our scanner, and then use a JSON parser object to allow us to have our, because first, when we get the information from our API, in this way, at least in Java, we're just getting it as a long, one long string, but we're then passing it to this JSON parser, which allows us to very easily make our string into a JSON object, or firstly, in this case, JSON array or JSON object, depending what we actually want to get, or what we're getting as a return value. So, API connect a city. We want to get city using our city input text field. Get a JSON array because we're technically getting an array containing just one city in this case. We get the city information turned into it because we need to cast it because when we are using this setup, we actually get returned and just a plain object. We need to cast it that specifically a JSON object. Our JSON object, we then get a raw ID from this JSON object. Let's actually try because it might be a bit confusing, but let's try printing some of it. Let's say we're running the application, and now I input some kind of city, like London. Then first, we're getting some kind of city information, so this JSON data. Let's try printing it just to showcase what it actually looks like. So now, when I input London, first we get the UID, and to get the word, we need to get the city information, which is this Java object, JSON object, not Java object. We have the lat, longitude, the position, and the raw ID, as mentioned, which is this ID for position. 
and we then extract this OID using JSON data. So from this JSON ob object, get the OID value. This one, then we get this value. As a, as a string returns it as a string, and in this case, we just get the value and puts it into our get today's weather information. So we call the second API with the OID now, and we then end up using searching because we have a, all the cities, all the positions. So using this position, get the weather that position. We then just look for consolidated weather because there's more information, you just need the weather. And we then get the weather array, get zero, the first weather, because I think we're getting like the next five days or something. So we're just getting the weather from the first day and returning it as a JSON object. So I hope it wasn't too confusing because we're doing a lot of steps and we're transforming between like JSON objects, JSON arrays, getting information, and it's a bit clunky when doing it in Java, but it works. And we then get our data, which contains it makes just showcase today's weather if we just print it. We have quite a lot of information. Visibility, whenever we actually got the data. The day we got the data, wind direction. I don't know what all of this is, but a lot of stuff. Weather state name. Weather state, wind speed, ID, and the max temperature, air pressure, and so on. So we get a lot of data about this specific day at this specific position. And we then extract minimum temperature, the temperature, and max temperature, and just simply set it as text in a text area, I think it is. So if we just quickly here at the end have a look at our scene builder. So here we can see inside scene builder, we just have some text saying today's weather. We have our text field input, our button, and we have some text down here where we just add the weather information we would like. So this is my basic setup of an application where we with JavaFX and scene builder have the graphical user interface setup and then using Java to connect to an API and get some weather information. So if you enjoyed this quick showcase of my little app, please leave a like and subscribe and I wish you all a wonderful day.